For more on tomorrow's hearing, let's turn to Tom Michaud, the CEO of KBW, a steeple company. Tom, great to have you back. Great to be with you. Um, what do you think uh, is going to come across tomorrow? What I think is going to come across, first of all, is that the crisis of the spring where we had three of the four largest failures in history is behind us. And that it's been a, an era of, of increasing stability, stability in deposits, stability in earnings. So I think is that I think they're going to try to put an end to that chapter and really talk about how those three bank failures were for problems at those three banks. Um, the second piece I think is the near term outlook. The near term outlook is is going to be one of a stable, profitable industry, but one that's got negative operating leverage and not really growing. The third piece that I hope that does come up is the regulatory reaction to these bank failures, which has been, in, they call it gold-plated, very strong. And, and really, it's going to de-risk more the banking industry, which is going to tilt the balance of the banking industry's competition with non-banks. Non-banks have been growing at faster than 10 percent a year. They've been taking more and more market share from banks, the private credit area. And as the regulators are, are increasing regulations on banks, they're actually standing up the non-banks. And so I think, I hope that dynamic comes up. Do you think that private credit, that area, is in a bubble? I mean, there's been so much chatter. You know, UBS Bubble is saying, right, that it's a bubble and, and there's a risk here, you're saying, perhaps? So, so we research all these companies, the ones that are public. Some of them are terrific companies, really well managed. But anything in financial services, in my opinion, that grows a lot faster than the economy usually hits a catch-up moment. That doesn't mean that it's going to be a crisis, but all the players in private credit aren't going to be successful. So I think it, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. I do think private credit is here to stay. Um, so it's a real industry. But I think that the regulators have a decision on how fast they want to grow. You keep coming down hard on the banks, it'll grow faster. It's interesting, Tom. Silicon Valley Bank would have passed the stress test if they were under the auspices. That's the 16th largest bank. So. Correct. The question I have to you is, what good is a stress test if a 16th largest bank would have failed it in the first place? Let me pile on to what you just said. All of them were investment grade in the weeks before the failure. The FDIC reports afterwards talked about how uh, Silicon Val excuse me, First Republic Bank had a one rating for liquidity before it failed. So you're 100 percent right. It was a bank run. And the changes that are being made have nothing to do with the failure. The one way to fix it is deposit insurance reform. And in May, I testified in front of Congress really believing that the targeted approach to change deposit insurance to reduce the too big to fail thinking so it, depositors don't run like that, that is what we need. And that, that effort is stalled in Congress. I'd love to see that change. And that is what's needed. That would fix, Guy, what you just said.